Hi, this is Will with My Spiritual Clarity, and today's video is about when I'm working with clients energetically and we see the belief, we see the pattern, we see the thing that they've been holding so close to their chest, and it's been the very thing that's been holding them back from being more seen, being more visible, um, stopping all the people pleasing, owning their expertise, being able to be fully expressed and fully themselves. And I want to talk about that moment a little bit because it's very, very vulnerable. It can be very, very scary. And I'm going to give an example. Um, but it's vulnerable and it's scary, very similar to when, you know, you, you realize that you love someone for the first time and you're going to tell them for the first time. I remember the first time I told my wife that I loved her. It was after uh, three weeks into the relationship, but I just knew. I, I just knew. And, and even though I knew, and even though I knew she would receive it, I just kind of knew, uh, it was still scary. It was still vulnerable. It was still uncomfortable. And it's very similar when I'm working with clients and we see that thing and you can almost, you can feel just like the wind. I hope you can hear it in the background. You can feel the energy. You can feel the tinglies. You can feel the, the skin on the back of your neck or you, it's just like everything gets quiet for a minute. And you, and I ask the question and I say, you know, so let me, let me give an example. I was working with a client once years ago, we called him Susan. And it was coming down to it. We'd worked together for a while and we had a lot of big clearings, a lot of big shifts. And then one day I realized because of Susan's posts on Facebook and all the things that she had shared with me, that she was actually owning her struggle story, but too much. And it was getting in the way of her growth, her forward movement. And I remember I don't remember the day exactly, but I remember generally the conversation where I, when I saw it and I realized, oh, so I asked her the question. I said, Susan, uh, truth is your struggle story, the secret to, to your, is your, sorry, is your struggle the secret to your success? And she realized and she said, yeah, it is. All I've had is my struggle. I've been through so much and she had been through so much. I'm not going to give any details, but just more than anyone should have to go through in three lifetimes. But we realized that her, what she had needed before, she, she used to need to own it to be able to survive, just to get through. But she wasn't that same person anymore. She'd been working with me and others. She'd done a lot of her own amazing work. It was time to let that go, to be able to move to the next stage because she couldn't move to the next stage as the amazing coach that she was if she had to struggle and fight for every single step along the way. She couldn't have ease. She couldn't have growth. She couldn't have expansion. She couldn't be seen with ease and with joy and with love if she had to fight for and earn every single little piece. So I asked her, and it was one of those moments, the, the wind rustling, it was just like the energy in the, in the air, and I said, the belief that your struggle makes you successful would you be willing to destroy that at the point of creation? And she said, yes. And I probably did other ones around that too, like, you know, the belief that you need to struggle in order to be successful and the belief that uh, to succeed, you have to struggle and all that. We probably did a bunch around that same thing. And I remember the look on her face, like it, it was a look like either she wanted to punch me or she wanted to hug me. And it was hard to tell which, because it's that vulnerability. It's that, ah, oh, you, you, you found me. You found my bullshit. <laughs> I've been hiding under this rock and thinking that I'm doing a great... It's like playing hide-and-seek with my five-year-old. Well, at more more like a three- or four-year-old. And they're convinced that you can't see them. And they're, they're hiding under the covers and their foot sticking out. And they got purple socks on. <laughs> and you walk into the room and you go, I, where could my daughter be? I and you, she's giggling. <laughs> And then you find her and she's so happy about it. Well, we adults do the same thing with our, our limiting beliefs and our crappy stories that hold us back. It's plain as day. We're not laughing anymore, though. It's not fun. So when someone comes in the room, they've got to announce it and say, I'm coming in the room. I'm going to come pull the blanket off. Are you ready? And it's okay to say, no, you're not ready. I've had clients that have said, no, I'm not ready. Or I don't even ask because I, can, I know energetically. So I'll ask it the other way to say, now, could we do some clearings? But I can feel energetically and just by the look of your face that like we've done enough. It's, it's enough. So it's not that you have to. And it's not even that it's better to. 
we get into this mindset where, oh, I've got to be visible. I've got to be more seen. Well, not necessarily. There's lots of amazing people that were not super visible and they changed the world. So visibility does not equal good or better. So I hope that clears it up a little bit. That moment of, you know, when you know that you've got a thing that needs to be exposed or that you want to be exposed or that, that you feel would be part of your healing if it were exposed with someone that you trust, that feeling, that moment, and then actually exposing it. And then what happened for this client afterwards, and she stopped working with me shortly afterwards. We stayed in touch as, as colleagues. She's uh, a great colleague and a friend now. But I, I saw her expand <clears throat> in some really amazing ways. And I saw her drop the struggle story in her online content. And I saw her uh, let go of that struggle and step into her expertise. And now she's just flying. She's just rocking it. She's kicking ass. And I know she worked with some other great people too. So I'm not saying that this was the only thing. And if you've got this story and you clear this one story or use this one energy trick that everything will be great. That's not what I'm saying. But it was a, it was a, a very important piece of the puzzle. So uh, as you identify, if you have this story especially, then you can move forward with more ease. But whatever it is for you, whatever rock you're hiding under, whatever blanket you're hiding under with your purple socks hanging out the other end, uh, it will make a difference once you see that and shift it and clear it with the right person or in the right uh, space. So uh, again, this is Will with My Spiritual Clarity. Uh, please do like this video down below or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love that. I always appreciate that. And if you want to come find me, I am at myspiritualclarity.com. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.